Hey, Joe from Coding Blocks here, and I am trying a new series of videos uh, that I'm calling Adventures in Programming that focus on neat, cool things that you can make really quickly. And the idea here is to emphasize fun and exploration and really quickly. So in that vein, I'm gonna try and keep things short and focused, not my specialty, so uh, I am gonna get going. So first I'm gonna uh, assume that you have no install because it's fairly ubiquitous and uh, you should just have no install if you are a programmer or want to be a programmer. So uh, go follow the instructions and do that if you haven't already. And I'm going to do this on the desktop. I'm going to make a new directory called uh, Yo. And that's because today I am exploring human. And so um, let me tell you a little bit about that as we go along. And first I'm going to make sure that I've got that installed because I'm always goofing around with my computer and I'm not really sure what I have anymore. So um, the idea is that uh, Human is a great way, maybe even the best way to create new projects quickly. And I do recommend if you are really wanting to learn a framework or really learn a technology, then you should probably start with the, the bare minimum and kind of construct the pieces yourself to really learn about it. But if you're just looking to have some fun while you're watching Netflix, uh, then human is a fantastic way to go or if it, you want to automate things that you are um, you know a lot about already so uh, I've got human installed here next up is to make sure that I've got a generator installed and a generator is basically just a set of instructions that tell human what to do in order to set up your project and um, as part of that project it also includes setting up the build process which is my favorite part because uh, there are some things that I do with, in JavaScript products that uh, projects that are just really redundant and annoying, like setting up Browserify. And, um, it's something I've done several times now, and um, you know, there's just better things to do. So I'd rather just run a human command and be done with it. All right, so now we've got a generator, and let's go ahead and use human to generate our web app. And web app is a simple generator that's used to create a client side uh, website. So I'm going to drop the stuff I don't really care about. And while that's going on, let me show you a little bit about human. So human has fantastic documentation. And I'm actually doing the, um, the generator that they have just in the getting started uh, tutorial section. So that's a really great way to get started. And you can see some of the cool stuff here. They give examples like um, scaffolding things once you've even got the basic project started, which is nice. Got some diagnostic support built in. And there's a ton of generators. And you can make your own. So I went to the generators page here. And if we go to web app, we can see um, scaffolds out a uh, front end web application. And you can go check out the code. Some other cool ones are Electron, if you wanted to make a, a desktop application, if you wanted to make a Chrome extension, or a Firefox OS app. Um, it's just a great way to get started, and it sets up that whole build pipeline for you. And it's platform independent, so you just get to go. And it takes a little while to set everything up, so let's give it a few more minutes. Looks like it's just about done over here. There we go. So. Let me show you a little bit about what it actually did. So there's a folder named Yo on my desktop. It set up an app directory. You know, let's uh, let's open this up in a better better editor. I'm a big fan of Visual Studio Code nowadays. So let's go open this directory. So app is basically the, the area where you as the programmer uh, messes around. This is um, where our basic web page is that we can change. And uh, it set up an images directory for us, a fonts directory if you want some web fonts or just fonts, um, script, styles directory, you even got a little fav icon that we can uh, override, which is nice. It even set up a robots.txt. Uh, I think it also does stuff, yeah, look at that, I set up a git ignore file so that when you check this into git, it's already set up to ignore the things that don't matter. So it just does a lot of those things for you. And Bower is all set up to grab um, Bootstrap, which is really nice. And it's got your whole build set up already with Gulp. So if 
we come over here and do gulp serve, which is probably the default action, but uh, whatever, it pops up a website and um, web server everything. I mean, it's, it's just ready to go. And if we come over here and make a simple change, Let's find that LO LO and say, I don't know, one of those little commercials like the what's up. I'm just going to alt tab and oop, forgot to save. Alt tab again, save. And look at that, it automatically refreshes the browser and everything. So it's got a ton of stuff set up. And let's take a look. So we, we talked about the app. Let's take a look at the other stuff that it installed for us. It's all Chai for testing, jQuery, uh, I think is a dependency of Bootstrap, Mocha for testing, Bootstrap, um, it's a great great way to create a fast website, and Node modules. This is just um, astounding to me. Look, look at all this stuff that got brought in along to uh, make our application. So this is a little insane. This is the kind of stuff that scares me about using something like Human. Is I don't know what all this stuff is doing. I don't know how important it is. It Remember the left pad thing that happened earlier uh, last year? Um, you know, I don't want my website to break because Brace expansion, you know, was removed from NPM. So, um, you know, that's something to be worried about. But if you are just looking to have fun and programming something while you are messing around on Netflix, then that is a, a good way to go. We've got a test directory set up here. It's already got the runner and everything configured, which is nice. Uh, and you've got a test right here to run. So there you go. You have a website and you can actually copy these files up just as is and upload it to something like S3 and do some uh, do some hosting. So let me show you just a little bit about um, Bootstrap just because I didn't really mention that but Bootstrap is a fantastic way to make look really nice looking websites and it's put out by Twitter as a project. It's basically a suite of CSS files and um, some images and a little bit of JavaScript stuff that just makes setting up a, a website really easy. So what I really like about it is say you want to know, uh, you want to set up a form and you want it to look nice. So you don't have to go and, and kind of design that form because they've got style guides that do all this stuff for you. Uh, look how nice this stuff looks. And they've got examples of how to do everything. Like here's all the code for that. It's got classes set up just to make everything look nice. And if you just take this, copy, paste it, and tweak, then you can make really nice looking websites really, really quickly. And... Um, there's also a lot of themes that you can download, and there are free ones, there are pay ones, there's all sorts of stuff. So if we just Google quickly for bootstrap themes, these are just some free ones, but there's some uh, really cool, looking for this one, uh, some really cool themes that you can try out and buy or download for free that just look amazing. So you can take this, drop this in the um, skeleton that we just created, and this is your starting off point. You change your text, upload, and you've got a website. And so that's really cool. And uh, I'm going to call it there. That was Human, and we're going to see more of it in future projects because uh, it's just such a quick way to, to get things going. So let me know how you like this video in the comments, please, and stay tuned for more.